Well, hello there. Another frosty northern Ontario day. The sun is out. That's better than yesterday. I filmed for you guys yesterday and it was raining. And shortly after I made it back to the house, it turned into a thunderstorm in December. Can anyone figure out what we're filming on? Yes, we've got the phone. Samsung S20. And we're using our Zhiyun 4 Smooth to go for a little walk today. Oh, pretty, look at that. Oh, I was gonna say frozen, but not quite. There's something about this combination that's just not quite right. When we had our old phone, the S9 Plus, it worked really well with this gimbal. I think this phone is just on the heavy side. And it doesn't really balance 100% the way it should. So it kind of looks like it's crooked, always just a tiny little bit crooked. I'm not sure how our trail cameras are doing because not only has it been very cold, minus 20, but then it warms up and it thaws out and it rains. And that's the worst thing for these cameras out here is going through those freeze thaw cycles all the time. They do have little seals in there to keep the water out, but I'm noticing this year that a few of the cameras, those seals are starting to leak on the older cameras. So I don't know if I can replace those, but this is the worst kind of weather uh, four cameras out in the field. We're at the 4K, the T200 4K camera right here. It looks pretty good because it's set up in the sun. So it gets quite a bit of warmth during the days where some of the other cameras don't. I'm not collecting any cameras today. I'm just out for a walk. I always love this. It's a beautiful spot here. Are you guys leaning to the left? This is what I mean by crooked. To me, everything seems to be tilted ever so slightly to the left. Am I leaning to the left? Maybe it's in my head, I don't know. We know this isn't the perfect solution. We cannot use the software for the Zhiyun 4 with the Samsung phones. Um, there's a whole suite of gears and controls down here by my thumb and I cannot use any of them Cannot control the phone. So basically I put the phone in the gimbal and I just let it do its thing in terms of stabilization and I just run the video Program right on the phone where we actually do have Zion smooth software that we could run But it won't film in 4k and there are frame rate limitations and I find it glitches out when I go to edit the video that I record on here the audio and the video don't sync up. Something to do with the wonky software. So, I mean, I really wish it's 2021 that they would come out with new software for this thing, you know? Don't leave the people in the lurch who spent the 160 bucks on this gimbal. Get us some new software that works with all phones, regardless of phone that you have. And I know it's actually a Samsung limitation, not a Zion 
limitation because I've contacted both companies and it has to do with Samsung not allowing uh, Zhiyun full access to the cameras on the phone. Silly. I do love the stabilization we get with this combination though. Don't have to do anything in post. I just throw it on the computer, edit it. You guys get a nice smooth ride through the forest. I just wish I could use the controls. That and I'm getting a really good arm workout. We talked about this, but really after using the AX700 camcorder all summer, I feel I could, I could bench this Zion a few hundred times here up and down and it's not gonna affect me at all. It's actually feeling pretty light. How's that for a smooth pan? Oh, tricky gauge, he's going back the other way. See, I'm climbing over brush and logs right now and you guys don't even know it. That's how smooth we are. See, I just climbed over all of that mess. But then, then the gimbal acts up as I'm trying to swing back around because like I said, I think this phone is just a little too heavy. But you guys don't worry about that. You guys just enjoy the beautiful snowy scenery. Lots of deer have been using this trail. <gasps> what are you? <gasps> He's got my glove! Gage! Gage, come here, buddy! Good boy! Come here! Sit! 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 Okay, give! 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 We've been looking for this for weeks. <laughs> it's frozen rock solid. Good boy. Okay, now you gotta give it. No, that's not giving. That's fighting. Okay, stop, stop, give. Good boy. Okay, sit. Okay, now you need to find the other one. Where's the other one? Go find it. Sniff this one. No, 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 just sniff. No, okay, go get it. Oh, I thought he was going to get it. Go get it, where is it? somewhere along this trail. Okay, go get it. Just like you got my pinpointer, go, look. Sniff it, sniff it, go get it. Go get it. Where is it? Go find it. I don't think he has a clue. Oh, I wish I had been watching him closer. He must have dug that out of the snow from somewhere. That's too funny. I was looking for those. <laughs> I have no idea. Somewhere right around here, there has to be another one within a hundred yards. I just have to get Gage to go sniff it out. Now I'm assuming that they fell out of my pocket in the same place. I could be wrong, which is why maybe he's confused. Either that or he's just kind of daft and a stick chewer. I'm going with option B here. <laughs> Scent training and this guy never went well, so I was absolutely amazed if you guys missed that one. He found my pinpointer, which we lost on a metal detecting uh, expedition, and we went back the next day and he actually found it for me. So if you guys didn't watch that video, that one was awesome. It would be great if he could find my other glove, but I'm not counting on it. Well, he's leading me on a merry chase, but we don't seem to be getting any closer to this glove, so I don't know, maybe I have to give up on it again. That's disheartening, I was all excited. He had one of them, I was sure I could coax him into taking me back where he found it, but it's not happening. Oh, he'll still get a cookie when we get home. Maybe I'll only give him half a cookie because he only found half the set of gloves. No, that'd just be mean. It's almost Christmas. 
while I let him look for that, we'll uh, we'll carry on our chat. So, oh, I can re I can not recommend a movie for you guys. Yesterday, while it was thunderstorming out, I decided to throw a movie on Netflix, and in the top ten was The Power of the Dog, and it looked like a modern western. And I thought, cool, Kirsten Dunst. I'm watching this movie trying to figure out. I know this actress. Who is this? But she looked so old. <laughs> it was such a boring movie. There was nothing. It, there was nothing surprising. It was very predictable. I watched half the movie. Went over to Tom's. We had our little uh, rib fest. Came home last night and finished the movie off. And I was very disappointed and mildly confused. Now, unless there was some secret meaning that I didn't get in this movie, I cannot recommend. The power of the dog. Now all of you have to go watch it and let me know if I'm crazy or not. But be prepared, you're going to waste two hours of your life because I was like, when is something going to happen? It was like the slowest moving movie ever. And there was no character development. They actually kind of, all of them kind of degraded actually over the two hours. <laughs> I was just left confused. Let me know if I'm wrong. Did I miss something? Comment below. The power of the dog on Netflix. Hey, that's not my glove. You have frozen poop again. That is not a glove. Come here. No, come here. Are you trying to tell me my glove smells like poop? Because they're not even remotely the same. Back to work with you. Go on, find my glove. Go on. That is a stick. Go on. You are terrible at this. Well, Okay, you're only half terrible because you found one of them. Rookie mistake. I didn't charge the gimbal before we left the house and it just died on me. I went back and watched the footage. He did not have the glove in his mouth until we got further up the trail. So, it could be anywhere. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to get it. The whole point of this video was to use the gimbal. Now I can't do it. Can't finish the video. Uh, one more update, I, I guess. Uh, I've had quite a few of you guys ask for the photo website, which is kind of surprising to me because it's been up for two years and not too many of you have asked. And unfortunately, I just uh, did not renew it. It just ended. And how that all went down was I really pumped you guys and said, you know what, check out uh, this website, go here, check out my artwork. And it took me couple weeks of uploading and getting all the stuff up there and promoting it hard and we made about I don't know 20 some sales the first uh, two three weeks and then as I stopped mentioning it nobody asked about it and it just kind of went by the wayside and then over the next two years I think I only made five sales so I didn't lose money because the website did get paid for uh, probably about broke even on that deal so <laughs> And then I just let it go because there isn't enough interest and I can't ship out prints. I like to do signed matted prints and I do them locally. If you're ever around, stop by, I can get you whatever you want. But I can't mail them because the shipping is so prohibitive that if I lose a print in the mail, which we did lose a couple, then I am in the hole 30 bucks for each print that I send out because I've got to resend out the prints. On top of that, the costs of my printing, matting and all of that stuff. So it doesn't take long and I'm I'm losing money on mail out, so I don't do them. If you guys do want digital prints of any of the work you see in any of the videos, uh, all of it is saved and cataloged. I do $30 high resolution digital prints, and then you guys can take them to your local shop. And you can print right up to 24 by 48 with these uh, prints that I have, because I'm using very high resolution, high end Sony cameras. 30 bucks will get you guys a print. It won't be signed by this guy, but it is original artwork and it does support the channel. So just email me if there's anything you guys want. It's actually very difficult to hold the phone and film. Get a finger cramp. It's a tough world, I know. Also, I have to take my phone cover, my case off to put it in the gimbal. So now I have an unprotected phone that I'm walking around with and I paid a thousand bucks used for this phone so that's not a, a good thing either if I drop this it's very susceptible to being 
smashed. So like I said, Gary has not found the perfect vlogging setup yet. I'm resigned to the fact that I will not buy new gear right now. We're just going to keep trudging on with what we have, playing with all of the stuff we have. For you guys, it's good enough. It's more than good enough. Thanks for joining us, guys. We're going to head home before it gets dark. We'll catch you in the next adventure. Hey, didn't you mention that you had a cousin that was half bloodhound? And we could spring him out of the pound? Come on, buddy, let's go. We got a glove to find. <laughs>